actually at a rest stop right now off the side of I-5 here in Washington. Just a couple little trails that wander through the forest. Kind of a nice spot to take a break from driving after you've been driving for 10 hours. Um, I'm on my way to Whistler for the EWS. So when the mountain bike gimbal YouTube channel genre started becoming really popular, uh, everyone hopped in on it and kind of started making these videos revolving around showing people where to ride or cool trails. And what Dane and I have always tried to do with this channel was show what we think mountain biking is all about and, and why we like mountain biking. From now on, this channel is gonna have more of a focus around what we think mountain biking is all about in our eyes. What I hope happens with this is you guys are able to grasp our passion for the sport. In addition, this also might give you new reasons to ride your bike rather than it just being fun. First and foremost, everyone rides because it's super fun and that's, that's a huge reason to ride, but there's so many more reasons to ride other than that that it's just fun. And this isn't coming from an authoritative stance. I'm not saying that this is what mountain biking is all about. It's just the reasons why we like to mountain bike. Everyone has their own unique reasons to ride and it's okay if, if yours are different than ours. And to all the people that like that we don't talk a bunch, this isn't necessarily gonna be a whole lot more talking in our videos. There's just gonna be some more context to why we're doing these rides that we're doing. So with that, uh, one of my stops before heading to Whistler, um, I'm gonna go check out a place I've always wanted to ride. Pretty popular trail for Seattle riders, uh, Predator at Tiger Mountain. This is a new trail for me. I've never ridden it, and mountain biking to me is all about exploring and adventure, whether it's a backcountry ride or a backyard ride. Next, uh, it's a sick trail. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on it, so I know it's a badass trail. And if it wasn't a badass trail, I probably wouldn't go ride it. Another reason is that Western Washington is blessed with these awesome forests. And with those good forests come some nice dirt. A little dry right now, but a whole lot better than the dirt in Northern California right now. So with that, Let's go get to riding. Like I said, never ridden this trail, and to make things even more interesting, haven't really spent a whole lot of time on this bike. It's just a loner bike. Uh, I still have my high tower, but this is a specialized stump jumper 29er S Works model. So, pretty much bad to the bone componentry here. Probably gonna do two laps on this take it easy on the first lap. The hip is feeling pretty much back to normal after that crash in Peru. If you didn't see that, go and watch the uh, This Is Peru video. This trail's fairly challenging from what I've heard, so I'll make it a little more interesting. Dirt looks pretty primo though. Dry as hell down in Northern California. So stoked to ride some good dirt. Let's get on with it. Unlock my shock. Trail is pretty crazy, and brand new bike. God, this is fucking tight. Oh, oh. oh 
Oh my god. Holy shit. That was overwhelming. There's absolutely nothing like riding in NorCal. I'm gonna go do that again. So after riding this trail once, can confirm it is badass. Pretty stoked to hit it again here. See if I can open it up a little bit more. I was honestly a little terrified on that first lap. Gonna let a tiny bit of air out of here. <laughs> Just right to flat. <laughs> This is so badass. God.
<laughs> Not enough speed, but I went for it. God damn, that is so sick. This bike is pretty badass too.